This video is for the lonely deconstructionist. Yes, I know that is a huge stereotype, but I want to speak to you guys today about something that is very close to my heart because it is something that I have lived and am living. This video is for those of you who feel lonely on your spiritual path. Those who have been criticized and judged for your beliefs. Those who have lost family members and friends. Those who feel crazy because they have all these thoughts and nobody to bounce them off of to tell if they've gone completely out into love field or not. And I want to tell you today that you are not alone. Deconstruction is a very lonely and isolating journey for many of us. And there tends to be two difficulties associated with deconstruction. The first one is the actual process of questioning and letting go and changing your belief system. And the second one is the fallout of that in your relationships. The first phase of that process, the deconstruction journey, can be very hard and challenging for many people. For me, it wasn't. Because I resisted it until I got to the point that letting go of everything was just a complete relief. I was so past the point where I was ready for it. It's like I had known this deeper truth for my entire life and I just hadn't allowed myself to accept it. And everybody's deconstruction path looks different. I went through an extremely difficult time in my life. I gave myself permission to finally read near-death experience stories, which I had wanted to read for years, but had avoided out of fear of demonic deception. As soon as I gave myself permission to read those stories and I began binge reading them, it was a matter of a couple months, maybe even weeks, in which my deconstruction happened and it was over. And it was just this huge, massive process of letting go of literally everything. Get rid of this, get rid of that, let's get rid of this, let's throw that out, this doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, until we're down to the bare bones, the bare minimum of what I knew to be true. And that foundation is the most solid foundation one could ever have in it. I've found that it's the only thing I've needed. And what I was left with is very simply, God is love. And that's it. What matters is love. And that's all I care about. That's the core of my message. The only thing I truly care about is that people are treated with love. And that in every situation, I am to the best of my ability, and I'm far from perfect, but to the best of my ability, I'm growing more and more into love and I'm responding with love the best that I can in every situation. And I truly think that that is all that God asks of us. That's my foundation. This happened for me in a matter of, like I said, a couple of months at most that was painless. It was freeing. It was liberating. It was wonderful. But for me, the difficult part came afterwards. Many other people don't have it so easy. Many people are sort of pushed into this deconstruction process, not really wanting to go there. Something causes them to question, and maybe they don't really want to leave the safe ground of what they've been taught. The process is extremely scary because maybe they don't come to a sure foundation sort of instantly like I did. Maybe they're left for years questioning everything, not really sure what to believe or what's true. And then after that process is over and people get to the point where they feel comfortable enough in their own beliefs their own journey to be able to share that with others is often when the real difficulty begins because other people are not always so receptive to those beliefs, especially if you've been raised in religion. They may try to convert you back to their way of seeing things. They may not have the same respect or the same equality in the relationship anymore. And many people deal with far worse. Many people actually deal with drama and angry phone calls and people ending relationships, people being disowned by their parents. 
the reason why I know this to be true is because I'm very involved, obviously, in the deconstruction community. And A, I see the things that happen. I hear the things that are said. Even within the deconstruction crowd, there is so much name calling and character bashing and, you know, just nastiness that goes around. This has to stop. I see this in the comments section on my videos all the time. People will come in talking about love and light and I support what you're saying and I believe in your message. And then somebody comes in disagreeing with them, stating a different viewpoint. And all of a sudden they're calling this person names. Now I do my best to keep up and delete these comments every time I see them because guys, the most important thing that we should be learning from this difficult journey is that how we treat each other matters. The differences in beliefs are not what matters. What matters is how we treat each other. What matters is that we give each other space to be where they are at and to follow the journey that they have been led down. We've been so conditioned within religion to believe that truth is a correct doctrine. It's a correct belief. If you don't believe exactly like me, then I'm right and you're wrong. And people will take this mindset from religion through their deconstruction journey and hold on to that very fundamentalist mindset that whatever conclusion I come to is right. And everybody else who comes to a different conclusion is wrong. And they have to be set straight. But that is the very mindset that you want to leave behind when you leave religion. That is the number one thing that you should let go and be free of. Truth is not a correct doctrine. Truth is far deeper than that. Truth is reality. And I'm going to be getting into this in my next video, which I will hopefully post next Sunday if I have it done in time. But truth is reality and reality is that God is one and God is love. And so truth, the only thing that is true is love. And the only thing that matters is how we treat people. I also know firsthand how devastating this deconstruction journey can be for people because I talk to people and people will comment and say, thank you so much for making such and such video because now I know I'm not alone. I had all these crazy thoughts in my head and I can't talk to anybody about it, including my spouse, because they'll think I'm crazy. But now I know that I'm not alone. You are not alone. There is a huge group of people who are going through the same thing. And guys, we don't all come to the same conclusions. And that is okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. The world would be a very boring place if we all thought the same and we all believed the same and we all had the same opinions. The point is not to get everybody else to believe just like us. The point of all of this is that we are supposed to learn unconditional love. We are supposed to learn how to love and support and respect and see as equals people who think and believe differently. We have to learn to support each other in our differences. There has to be a balance of love and free will. Those things always have to be in balance. People have to be allowed to make their own choices and follow their own paths, and they need to be loved in their differences. So you are not alone. You are welcome. You matter to me. That's why I started this channel, because I wanted to connect with people. I wanted to hear people's stories. I wanted people to share this journey with. You matter to me. You are welcome on this channel, you are welcome. If you have nowhere else in your life where you feel welcome, you are welcome here. And I wish that I could have a real personal friendship with every single one of you. But at the very least, I can say you're welcome to comment and share your thoughts and engage with people. 
and with the community here. I do my best to make sure that every person, at least that I interact with, is responded to with love and respect. So it doesn't matter if on your deconstruction journey, you have landed in the New Age movement, or if you are still within Christian orthodoxy, but just questioning some of the more strict doctrines. If you're an atheist or an agnostic, if your deconstruction journey has led you to question God's existence, or if you have some other belief system that I haven't mentioned, there are many, many places where people land on this journey. I do not think that I am right and you are wrong. I think I'm right about love. I will say that. It's so simple and it's so basic and I am 100% positive that I'm right about that. But I think that's something that most of us can agree on. Outside of that, I don't care. I have my opinions about a lot of things. But I don't think that because you disagree that you're wrong and I'm right and I have to convert you. Many of the videos that I've made, like my views on Jesus's divinity versus his humanity, I've made because I've been asked so many times. But I was hesitant to even state my views because I don't want to alienate people. I don't want you to feel like if you don't agree with me on that, that you're not welcome here. You're free to challenge me. You're free to disagree with me. You're free to say whatever you want to me or about me as long as you treat each other in the comments with the same love and respect that you would like to be treated for sharing your views. It is my dream to build a supportive, diverse community of people with all different viewpoints and opinions who can come together and love each other in that and offer support to each other in that. Nobody should have to feel alone because they believe differently than those around them. So in closing this video, I want to say thank you to all of you who have helped me to create that beautiful community so far. And I want to reiterate once again, that you are not alone. If you are feeling lonely, if you are dealing with loss of relationships, loss of respect because of your beliefs, if you feel that you have nobody to talk to and nobody to share with, you are not alone. There are so many of us out there. Let's create a community of love and acceptance and understanding. Somewhere where the highest truth is that we love one another as Jesus taught. And stop making such a big deal about the rest. Let's learn and grow together. Let's appreciate each other's differences in opinions. And stop trying to make everybody just like us. Because then how are we supposed to learn anything? And I also want to add here at the end, if you're not on a deconstruction journey, if you are, say, a Christian or a Muslim or a Mormon or a Hindu or a Buddhist, or a Jew, and you're happy in that belief system, I do not think that just because I've deconstructed and changed my belief system that I am somehow more spiritually enlightened than any of you. I don't see it that way. And I know many in the love and light community have a tendency to see it that way, that being spiritual without religion is somehow more enlightened than being religious. And I'm sorry, but it's not. I have my problems with religion. I definitely haven't hidden my opinions about that on this channel. Most of my family and friends are Christian. And I, believe it or not, I don't think I'm better or more spiritual than you because I used to be a Christian and now I'm not. I can clearly see how being a Christian is beneficial for some people, how they're spiritually awake and powerful within that belief system. And I applaud that. I want to see people happy and healthy and growing and loving and supporting each other along the way. I like to see more understanding and acceptance across religious barriers. And yes, as I've said, it's helpful to point out the inconsistencies. It's helpful to point out, hey, this isn't healthy in Christianity, but we can do it in a loving and respectful way. And together we can create something that is more inclusive, more healthy for all of us. Be loved, be happy, be at peace, and thank you for watching.